Daffodils, hot season flocks, meadowsweet and lily stocks, gentle lupin and tall hollyhocks, roses, fox, gloves, bone drops, forget me not in an English country. Hello, Dog Benson Blogger here, and I'm at the Secret Garden Festival. It's a dull bed sit news. After I'd pitched my tent, I decided to go for a walk. In the middle of the festival site is a lake which has the blimp. Strange bouncy bridge. Strange bouncy bridge. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, lads and lassies, strumpets and shawls, welcome to the Feast of Fools. Brandy hot chocolate and small world. Friday was the first official day of the festival, but Thursday night had been pretty rocking to be honest, so I went for a bit of a walk to see what kinds of craziness I could find. <laughs> While sitting on my comfortable chair, I kept seeing these Donny Darko type rabbits walking around. And it wasn't until the end of the festival I found out that if you knew the secret sign, you could get them to follow you. And if you got enough of them to follow you, you could get a prize. If only I'd known. Oh! Uh, oh, 
it's very fast. <laughs> This is Feast of Fools, the stage that we're going to be doing stuff on tonight and this afternoon. So I'm going to spend quite a lot of time here. So I'm just going off to get some having my feet nibbled by fish. <laughs> the fish nibbling my feet was my festival highlight. Just right if you'd been wandering around in the dust in, in your sandals. It felt a bit like having pins and needles crossed with very small electric shocks in your feet. It was most delightful. If you tune into it, I think I'm now putting on my makeup to be the wild man. So um, yeah, this is the before, and um, give me a bit of time. It takes a little while. <sighs> After. <laughs> There was a lot of waiting about backstage before we got to perform. To our measurement of very own wild man! <laughs> now ladies and gentlemen, shall I tell you a little story about the wild man? Yeah. It's a true story. Sitting around the fire last night, I told Mr. Wild a true story. Apparently, and this is in the papers two days ago, a man, in actual fact a transvestite, had been arrested for having sex with a dog in the moat of an English heritage property. I said this to a group of people, including the wild man, and the wild man said, a moat? As if that was the most important bit of the story. As if somehow the idea of a transvestite having sex with a dog was okay, but the idea of it being in a moat was outrageous. So that's the wild man for you, ladies and gentlemen. Don't make eye contact, he hasn't had red meat for four Just days. Just taking a chilled out walk on Sunday to get some breakfast. I didn't go out on Saturday night after the performance, so Sunday I was full of energy for lots of wandering around and seeing what kind of strange characters I would bump into while I went for my wonders.
Monday was home time. So I got into the van and got my lift. Secret Garden Party was a great festival. It's very pretty to look at. Lots of stuff to do in the night. And to be honest, it was kind of everything I'd imagined that the Big Green Gathering might have been, but it never quite got there. So if you have a chance to go, check it out. Thank <laughs> you. 